Imagine living in a house with no lights, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, for 30 or 40 years of your life, in total darkness. But you're still eating, sleeping, trying to wash your sheets and everything else. Imagine if after 40 years you turn the lights on, what do you think you'd see? you would probably become very overwhelmed. And, you, you, and the first thing you'd probably say is, oh my God, how did this happen? I don't remember doing this. But the first thing that you will experience is overwhelm. Why can't you just be a little more real? Why do you always feel you have to say these things to be this way? If you want to up the stakes and play a bigger game, the first thing you need to up the stakes is drop the facade. Stop trying to be something that you're not. Fake it till you make it is almost like carrot and stick motivation. If you want to up the stakes, it is not about faking it anymore. It is about being real, authentic and genuine and wearing your heart on your sleeve. Where does self-sabotage show up most for you? What is self-sabotage? Self-sabotage is a conflict of values. If self-sabotage is a conflict of values, what is it that creates that conflict? It would agree it's very easy not to succeed when you don't know what you're doing. But here's the challenge. When you know everything that you have to do, then all of a sudden, guess what? You're aware, but then there's only one thing stopping you. So, when we make the decision to become more conscious and we turn the lights on, the first thing we're going to experience is an overload of information. We're going to feel overwhelmed. That is going to trigger what? Stress. And stress is going to have a biochemical effect. Now, I'm not going to go into all the biochemical responses that the body has to stress, but there's one in particular that is really important to be aware of. What is it? Cortisol. And what does cortisol do? It makes you fat, it makes you old, it makes you carcinogenic, and it makes you stupid your IQ will be cut in half. The average IQ is about 80 to 100 points. The moment you have cortisol, you're gonna take roughly 50% of your IQ and it's gonna be diminished within seven minutes. Within seven minutes of you experiencing a higher level of consciousness, within seven minutes of you being introduced to a higher level of consciousness, you are gonna experience overwhelm, which is gonna trigger stress, and you are gonna have a tremendously great chance the probability is very high for you to lose half of your intelligence in the next seven minutes. How do we make sense of all of this? We take responsibility. First of all, we need to be aware that when we become more conscious, we will experience information overwhelm and we will experience stress. In most cases, when we experience the stress as a result of seeing more, we label we give the authority, we give the power to someone else in that creation. So in order to be consciousness, we must be willing to accept full responsibility for everything we see when we turn the lights on. If we're not, we're going to experience very high levels of repetitive pain. Our goal is to see more. But when we see more, what is the biological response? Overwhelm. What's the biochemical response? Stress. And what is the psychological response? Stupidity, which then comes back and counters consciousness. So the very thing that we're chasing, in many cases, the result lowers, unless we develop a relationship with stress that is different than the one you have right now. Now, when I say a relationship with stress, what do I mean? Use it as a, use it as a drive. 
to be aware of when it happens. Let me ask you, when you feel stress, what is the emotion that you feel? Imagine for a freakish moment, instead of feeling any one of those emotions, you train your psychology to experience gratitude. When we change the meaning, we change the molecules. When we change the meaning, we change the molecules. So what I'm suggesting is when we turn the light on, we need to accept full responsibility for what we're now starting to see. We need to expect that it is quite normal and we don't need to fight the information overload and the overwhelm. We can be aware that often when we feel overwhelmed, stress will become present, but this is where we need to interrupt. We need to intervene and go, right, I, I am not choosing to feel anxious. I'm not choosing to feel pain. I'm not choosing to feel anger, frustration, panic. I'm now choosing to feel grateful. But consciousness without responsibility equals pain. You must be willing to own your shit. <laughs>